Hello, ladies and gentlemen, this is Hot Potato Gamer with... The Chairman, and we have just discovered a Pokemon mystery. Well, I think probably some people probably might have discovered already, but they just didn't put a two-two together just yet. So, as you can see, we everyone saw the trailer for Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl. I'm still waiting for a JoJo reference to pop up somewhere in this game now. Oh, I didn't think of that. Shit. I'm going to call him a champ uh, Stardust, but we're gonna, that's beginning besides the point. Um, so... <laughs> There was a weird moment in the trailer and where it ends that it showed a familiar statue for anyone who played the original Diamond and Pearls. Ironically, Mr. Chairman didn't notice it until I pointed it out. So if you look up real quick, there's going to be a picture in the beginning of the trailer of the statue, which shows Palkia. No, it's Dialga. No, the first, the beginning of the trailer. So, and now we're going to show you the same statue they decided to put up in this Bomberman graphics. Bomberman, I actually like that. But that's what it looks like. They, no, they're gonna, chibi, gonna, gonna, they're chibi but yet Bomberman-like. No, I'm not going to like it. I but like moving it. forward, moving forward. Hops, focus. Right, 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 right. That, um, something doesn't seem quite right. Well, what did you say first, Hops, when you first looked at it? Well, at the new statue. At the, at the new statue, outside? yes. Well, at first I thought, oh, cool, it's a picture of that's not Palkia. No, you said something about him standing up. Yeah, it's, I said, it's, I see Dialga standing. It's like, that doesn't make sense. Yeah. And I went back to it after the preview. I was like, oh my god. They now, did it. They fused the two Pokemon together. They did it again. Like, if you look, you can see it's got a bit of the shoulders of Palkia. Spiky. This, the spike, the time spikes of Dialga. Combined with Palkia style wings. Yeah, like it's. And his shoulder pads. Now, the question is. Is this going to be tying into Pokemon Legends Arceus, which was played directly after? So wait a minute, hold on. Also, he has Palkia's feet. Here's something weird I just thought of now, ready? Here's just a quick theory. Yeah, go ahead. Is it possible that we're going to be seeing... Fusions? At the end of Legends, Palkia separating... I mean, not Palkia. Arceus separating into Palkia and Dialga. No, 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 That's, no, 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 Mr. Chairman, technically, here's the thing. In terms, Arceus is Jesus, or God, who but, created all things. But that's not the point, well, that's though. The problem. It, but that's the thing, though. Is this leading to the chance that we're going to see more Pokemon fusions as this game's big gimmick? Well, I mean, they already did do fusions in Black and White, too. Yeah, with and, Kira. And also in the Sun and Moon, technically. Yeah, but is that going to be more of a mainstay future, feature? It might be. No, here's the thing. From the what I saw, from what I remember in Black and White 2, the legendary Pokemons of that technically are two separate, so there's like a whole nother universe. Anyways, but back onto the mystery now. It's still very peculiar, though. I mean... Yes, yes. Why... What, what in addition to the story, is this adding? Now, is this a new story? The original story, or is this... Where they're kind of making the Legend of Zelda thing happen, where the Pokemon timeline is now going to be split. So, like Sun and Moon? Sort of. No, no, more like. Because they Picture already... the Terminator. The Terminator travels back in time to stop the future. Well, I mean, it is. Now, what events happen well, that would. Oh my god, I just realized something else, too. Well, I mean, you do remember that the Sinnoh region, in terms of. It did talk. It is mostly about space and time. But now, wait, here's nothing. What is Celebes involved? Um, I'm trying to uh, remember something. Hold on. The Legend of Celebi is a time traveler, from what I remember in terms. No, no, that's not what I'm saying. There was a. I'm trying to remember if it was this game, which game had this, the extra story with Celebi, or the one with Pichu. Yeah, let me just double check uh, the Pokemon events. There's like something special for that. Well, I mean, you're not. You're not. Could be, who knows, really? I mean, actually, that brings up like a question because technically, in terms for Pokemon, there are two time-related based Pokemon's. Celebi was the first one that we know of, and then we got Dialga. Dialga. And then that's about it for Pokemon that has to do with really with time time abilities. Which I'm still trying to figure out why Celebi has time abilities. Although I think that's more in terms of its lore and also continuity in terms of like it's what it's based on in terms. I'm yeah. assuming, right? But Dialga is literally time itself. Like how Palkia is literally the environment. Space oh wait, itself. that was Heart Gold and Soul Silver with the Giovanni's son is green thing. But I'm um, back to the mystery at hand. Oh, though. right. Yeah, I forgot about that. Now, what... I think this Wait. might... Like I said earlier, this might be leading to fusion. 
as well, a they gimmick. Well, technically did do fusion already. Yeah, but I mean as a bigger... Something in the timeline. Wait a minute. But there is some... Oh my god, I just realized it hops. We're not going to be fusing with our Pokemon. No. Battle Bond? What was the main antagonist in this in Diamond and Pearl? Uh, For what I remember, the villains in this group was Team Galactic? Was it that one? I believe so. Now, ready? Yeah, what was his Team main goal? Uh, to create a whole new war universe. And he succeeded by traveling. In no, no, he didn't travel. I he went the into the new universe because he took the power of Dialga and Palkia. Wait, now, okay, hops. That, you now you're missing what I'm trying to get at. What if we're not playing the original Diamond and Pearl in this remake? We're playing his. But we're playing his Team Galactics's the world of Diamond and Pearl. That would explain why the two statues are fused. And it's possible, yeah. We could be actually in the universe for that. This could be literally Pokemon Galactic. No, we did... Well, here's the thing. It could be that because in terms... They never say whatever happened to him. He exactly. walked in and he just disappeared into a new realm. So it is possible. So, I Though mean... at the same time, in the Sword and Shield... Oh, sorry, not Sword and Shield. Sun and Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon, he did actually make his appearance again. Because he did, he was uh, I think successful. He, he was successful on his original plan. So then this could be branching off the whole time dimension, the uh, dimensional rifts, multiverse theory. Yeah, we could also see new Ultra Beasts. Basically, Beast. trunks. Yeah, we could see new Ultra Beasts from this game as well, because there is a sign that well, something is wrong in this time. Well, we don't know that yet. But that's Although, part of the mystery. The only problem is Ultra Beast is only shown within the uh, lower region for its unique. Uh, moving on like that. okay well what do you guys think now sorry for the editing on this one it's mostly just the pictures but yeah this is an interesting mystery to consider don't forget to like share and subscribe and we'll see you guys next time bye whenever we end up doing another video that's right